So I wanted to talk about Femme Fatale, the latest album by Britney Spears. And first, before I talked about like the songs on it, I wanted to first comment that I had no idea she had come out with seven albums. I knew she'd been around before the 2000s, but I didn't know that she had seven albums. But what confuses me is why is her third album named Britney? And not the first, but whatever. And also, I had no idea she had been on, like, five tours and her sixth one being this summer. She's popular and probably really rich. Well, obviously, she's really rich, but whatever. One of the richest people. And I'm actually going to download her new CD after this, even though I don't have any other rich CDs. I have songs off her other CDs, like, maybe four. But I actually didn't even realize that this came out until, I think, yesterday. Because I thought about it on Monday, and then yesterday, I was like, oh, her so her album came out yesterday. So I was, like, looking at it. And then today, I listened to all the songs, and I actually really liked a lot of them. I'd say my favorite ones, I have to go and look at their names, because I'll never, ever, ever remember. And iTunes is slow. I do have to say, though, that my personal favorite song from her after hearing, out of the ones I've heard, is definitely Circus still. I liked Circus. That was, like, my song. That and Disturbia were, like, my songs two years ago. I listened to them combined maybe 2,000 times, which is a lot. Because normally once you listen to a song, like, a hundred times, you're just, like, done with the song. Oh, my goodness. According to this, it can't load. Whatever, why am I going to there? I can just go to her album's page. Okay, so, Femme Fatale, which to me looks like it should be Femme Fatal, just spelled wrong. Oh yeah, now you want to load stupid iTunes. Too late. Okay. So, the songs are... I like Till the World Ends. That one was good. I like that more than Hold It Against Me. So, I'm not going to go through every song just because of how long that would take, but my favorites... my I think my favorite was Drop Dead Beautiful. Just because I liked the vibe of it. I liked Gasoline a lot. Till the World Ends. I Wanna Go, which may or may not be about masturbation. I don't know. Maybe I just think weird, but w when I hear about that, she's talking about, like, keeping her hands above the blanket and, like, getting release. So I was like, whoa. I don't know what you're referring to, Brittany. But whatever. And I liked Big Fat Bass a little. And I'd have to listen to them all to just comment more, but I actually really liked it. The one weak spot was, it kind of reminded me of Taylor Swift, where every single song on her album kind of sounded the same. I don't know, did anyone else feel like that? I kind of think it does. But I liked a lot of the songs, and I am going to buy it after. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Yeah, but she is going on tour this summer. I believe July 6th or so is when she's in Minnesota, which I won't be going, because it comes to a point where you have to pick and choose your concerts, and I wouldn't even want to go to hers. I'd be like, whatever. And I actually looked up what femme fatale means, because at first I was just like, did she make this up? Is it a real word or phrase? But then I saw them describe Katy Perry in her new video as that, so I'd like, it means a woman of great seductive charm who leads men into compromising or dangerous situations, which makes sense because femme is woman and fatale sounds like fatal. So like deadly women, I don't know. So that's her album. You should all go get it because it's really good. And I'm actually going to go download it right now. So have a good weekend.